Hello there, YouTube. This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Sun and Moon battle video. I'm very proud to say that I am able to battle again over Wi-Fi. Um, it's been a couple of months where I couldn't Wi-Fi battle as much because I was trying to get into the college life a little bit, getting used to the campus, trying to get all of my schoolwork situated so I can get some free time out of all this stuff and attending all the activities and whatnot. So uh, I am happy to be back, you guys. I am looking forward to battling a lot more going forward. Uh, major shoutouts to Necrostevo and my opponent in this video, Juan, aka Pokemon Battle Network. He has a YouTube channel, so definitely go check him out. He has got his side of this video up already. Definitely hit that up. I'll put that in the description. I'm not gonna lie this time. I usually forget to put stuff in the description at times, but yes, it's gonna be down there. I, I promise you. So with this in mind, um, we have a Ubers battle, and um, this Ubers battle was actually really good, but it was long, so bear with me. Um, I will go over the team first, and we will get started. So here is the preview screen. We see I have a Clefable, Blaziken, Tornagus, Greninja, Dialga, and Venusaur. So, um, I, you know what? I have Clefable, uh, as my Calm Mind user, and then I have a Mega Blaziken, uh, going Mega, so that's my Mega for the video. And then Tornagus is mixed, um, he has Knock Off, U Turn, and Superpower Hurricane. We have a waterfall, water shuriken, and Greninja with Battle Bond. Really happy to use him. And then Dialga setting up Stealthos. And then uh, Venusaur. My opponent has some threats here, including Registeel and Langarus, Arceus, Genesect, uh, Tapu Coco, to name a few. We also see a Blaziken. So, uh, you know, Registeel has a set that is very, very annoying in this fight. Uh, we see. He, we're going to see uh, Rest and Sleep Talk and Iron Head and Curse. This idea is just really through the roof for Ubers, in my opinion. Uh, we're going to see Arceus a little bit. We're going to see Langarus using Intimate. There's a lot going on in this battle, so there, bear with me there, alright? So we're going to start the battle. Hope you all enjoy this. I'm going to start with Leviera, the Clefable, and my opponent is going to start out with Registeel. I love Shiny Registeel. It's one of my favorite Shinies in all Pokemon. I go for Call Mind on turn 1, because I feel like I can survive a Iron Head, being unboosted and all, because he didn't go for Curse yet. And we see that I take it really well. I do have Wish, but I don't end up using Wish on this. Clefable in this fight, which is unfortunate. So I go for a plus one flamethrower, and it does not do enough, which is unfortunate there. Uh, we do see Curse, and as I predicted, that could be the, the start of a, a huge, annoying segment where Registeel just kind of kicks my behind a little bit. Here I'm thinking I could probably burn him. I don't know if I can take him out from that range. I don't get the burn, unfortunately, but it is nice that he's at low health so that something else can come in and revenge kill it. I ended up, instead of going to Blaziken, I actually went into Greninja, hoping I could get my Battle Bond boost. Because once you knock out a Pokemon, you can get the Ash Greninja form. But I come out really close, it's life form damage as well, and we just, ah, uh, so close. And we see Rest. So all that work. For Clefable, he used that Calm Mind and Flamethrower. It was kind of a waste, unfortunately. So now I'm forced to be in this situation where I have to go into Blaziken and uh, Mega Evolve. Even if he has Iron Head, it is boosted, yes, but I resist it. Yeah, it still hurts a little bit, but not, not... Yeah, I can take that. I can stay in here, that's the idea. Now my opponent, Juan, goes into Tapu Coco, and Tapu Coco has Electric Surge. It might benefit him, but not me, unfortunately. Um, there's a lot of unfortunate events in this battle, so... 
you know, that happens sometimes. I go with a high jump kick and I miss. Why? That was done a little bit of damage. And then I could get my boost from the speed boost ability and then I can knock him out with a four blitz. But I don't get a chance to do that because I missed the freaking high jump kick. Okay, so we have to contend a full health Copy Coco with Electric Surge. We're going to go into Dialga, who takes that hit as easily there. Uh, Dialga is going to go with Stealth Rocks, I believe. Or, actually, I go with Earth Power, because I, you know what, I want to be safe. I am going to set up Stealth Rocks in this battle, so don't worry, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, Langris, you know what? The Intimidate does not affect Dialga whatsoever because I have a special attack in the form of War of Time and we're going to knock him out in one shot. Is that amazing or what? Unfortunately, again, because I, I keep saying that, I have to recharge for a turn. That basically means that he can go into Arceus, set up on me if he wants to do that, or he can outright attack me with an Earthquake. It's great to know that he has that option, so if I plan this accordingly, I can go into Tornadus at some point to dodge it, I suppose. Okay, so he's going to withdraw, go into Registeel. I have to question my opponent on this play for sure. I do go for Stealth Ox finally, but he can't really do much to uh, to my Dialga with Registeel in here. He only has Iron Head as a attacking option. So, I get the upper hand here as far as attacking each other goes, if that makes sense. I, I have the upper edge, is what I'm saying. So, yeah, even if he wants to set up a curse through the sweep talk, you can't do much to Dialga. And that's just what matters at this point. I'm going to keep going for Earth Power. And because he does not have Langarus anymore, because I already took him out. He can't really do anything. Yeah, so he's kind of stuck here for now. Um, he went for a sweep cock, but here he woke up, so that did not work out for him. He goes into Tapu Coco. I predicted him to switch out here, which was the best move, in my opinion, for him. He gets up the electric surge again, which is no problem whatsoever. Go with the flash cannon, and wow, that does a lot of damage. I could basically, I could basically stay in here and go with another one if I want to. He reveals his Z power to be Twinkle Cackle and it's not going to do anything because I am a Steel type. He was probably sacrificing Tapu Coco here, I have to imagine. Yeah, that's like the best option that he has right now. With Ubers, you pretty much have to think strategically, and to be honest, I am undefeated in Ubers right now, uh, but we'll see how this goes, because this is going to come really close towards the end. Will my streak continue, or will it snap? That is the ultimate question. Anyways, though, so we take out the uh, Tapu Coco, and now he has to go into Arceus. He has the Earthquake. I know that's coming, so we're going to switch out, going to Tornadus. Ethereum form, basically go with a knockoff here. I can do that basically for free. I can knock off an item off. I said that so wrong in my head. Uh, but yeah, knock off, it's not going to, I mean, it is neutral to Genesec now, but back in the day, it was not very effective to Genesec being steel type. I come out really close on KOing Genesec here. Wow, uh, the hurricane in the electric surge. I don't know if that affects the accuracy or what. But, uh, here, I go with a U-turn. That was a great play on my end here because I have Regenerator. And I knock out a Genesect with U-turn, just like that. And then, you know, I get my full health back. I That was a great sentence, you guys. I, I'm a little bit tired, okay? Bear with me. All right, this is not a good matchup. I... Basically, wanted to see what this Blaziken is going to do. He wants to protect or sword stance. I want to make him do that because why should I stay in on a Mega Blaziken, you might ask. So I kind of bluffed the fact that I could stay in, and I ended up doing that. And that was really ballsy, I have to admit. But it works out here because I put him to sleep. He went for a home cause, 
which is basically the same as going for sword stance, but you know, he's asleep and that's what matters. I go with a regular sludge bomb, it's not boosted or anything. I do have Sunny Day and I could use that with my own Blaziken. I still have my Mega Blaziken, if you all recall that happening. And there you go, we see Venusaur knocking out a Blaziken just like that. It's a Mega Blaziken to add insult to injury or adding more bonus points there. So we reveal Sunny Day uh, to Regis Seal and it's like, what do you have for me? He said go for rest, uh, which is fine. That's like the third time he did this in this battle. When I really should have gone with a... I don't know what I should have done. I, I probably should have just kept Blaziken healthy earlier in the beginning. It's too bad that I missed the high jump kick there. That's why I had to switch out all the time, because I have to preserve him. He's got low health. He can't really do much. Alright, so I basically want this Registeel to KO my Tornadus. Um, I could always switch out, get my Regenerator again, but I really wanted him to sacrifice my Tornadus. This way, I could bring back in Blaziken and utilize the Sun, because that's why I put up the Sun, gosh darn it, but I didn't do that. Alright, well, in this case, I can go into Blaziken now and go with a high jump kick, but then I realized, oh wait, he has extreme speed, so expecting him to do that, we're going to go back into Dialga. I pretty much got the momentum back on my side of this battle, because ever since Registeel, um, or actually ever since, who was it, Langris? Ever since he was gone, I kind of got the momentum back on my end here. Um, I am going to sacrifice Dialga here, which is not... Dialga was on his last two legs. He did a lot in this battle. He got up to Stealth Rocks, he took out Langarus. It's all good. So here he goes for another extreme speed. I go with a Sunny Day here, so I can use Blaziken again, hopefully, to utilize the sun. I have to make it work, gosh darn it. So, Rexington, you're doing your gosh darn well best right here. <laughs> I don't know why I said that the way I did. Uh, but he goes back into Registeel. Um, I, you know what, it, it's kind of weird because earlier when I used Venusaur, when I used Sludge Bomb on Blaziken, he really should have switched out into Registeel a lot earlier than right now. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was using Sludge Bomb on Blaziken, I really should, he should have switched out into Registeel then. That's what I'm thinking, uh, but you know. Juan might have had a much better idea in his head. I don't know. We'll see what he says in the comments, if he ever comments down below or whatever. But uh, here we get into this long stall war where I kind of want to sacrifice my Venusaur and bring back in Blaziken and wrap up the battle. We're almost done, believe it or not. We have two minutes left in the video. I am just going to sacrifice my Venusaur. Yeah, because he can't really do much anymore to the... Uh, Registeel. It was good that I am using Solar Beam in the sunlight. It's going to do a little bit of damage to the Registeel, so it's not too terrible in my end, in my opinion. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're going to keep going for another Solar Beam. Hopefully he does not rest up again, that will be terrible. Uh, but he goes for an Iron Head, and that is perfect. So that means I can go into Blaziken and click High jump kick. Or for a blitz, uh, but I don't want to get knocked out earlier on. So, high jump kick is our option at this point. And I believe we just have to deal with Arceus. Am I not wrong? I, I yeah, it, it's supposed to be Arceus. His last Pokemon standing. And the still thoughts are helping. That is great. So here, I go for a Protect. I don't know how many Extreme Speeds he's been using. I believe this is his fourth or fifth one. So if I were to use Protect right here, I could waste that Extreme Speed and then um, KO him with the attacking move. But he predicts this whole scenario up and KOs Blaziken, which makes the match come really, really, really close. Because all I have left is Greninja. He didn't really do a whole lot. He tried to KO the Registeel earlier. He didn't get his Bile Bond. I go for Waterfall and I get the flinch. And this, I don't know how many extreme speeds he has. I don't know how much an Earthquake would do. Greninja is pretty frail in general. 
man, that makes it so close. I don't know what the end result would be, but I am still unbeaten in Ubers. That was a great battle. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Juan, for the battle. Oh my gosh. Ubers is my favorite character to battle in, and I am undefeated. So if you guys want to battle me in Ubers, watch out, because I'm pretty good. But wow, what a great way to come back to battling on the YouTube channel. You guys, what a great battle, right? If you all enjoyed this battle video, make sure you like the video and subscribe. I will come up with you another battle here shortly. Stay tuned. Have a great day, guys.